This is Sydney. Welcome to AmeriCreed's Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. In today's activity, we'll be learning about quote accurately from a text when explaining what the text says and when drawing inferences from the text. Today, we will be reading about a girl named Susie during the zombie apocalypse. Keep in mind, in this world, two zombies are born every two minutes. This can be represented by the number y equals 2x, where x is the number of minutes that have passed and y is the number of zombies created. Time for the story. Now, Susie's stuck in the hallway and she's trying to make it across the hall and make it to the nurse's office to get some first aid supplies. She's a fairly strong person. She has a black belt in karate and her dad's a CIA agent, so she could fend off 10 zombies. Looking back at the equation real quick, it's on the top right. How many minutes does she have before the zombies can overtake her? Don't worry if you don't know, but it's five minutes. We'll learn about equations more in another video. But just to explain it a little, let's say five minutes have passed. So x would equal five. So two times five would be 10. So then there'd be 10 zombies. So if five minutes pass, then she could safely make it across the hall because she can beat all 10 zombies. But if it was any time more than five, so let's say it was 10 minutes. So x would equal 10. Two times 10 is 20. That'd be 20 zombies, and she can't handle 20 zombies. So, in this story, let's pretend that Susie, Susie was a bit too slow, and now it's been six minutes. So six minutes, two times six is 12, so that means there's 12 zombies. So the zombies are now approaching her, and she can't beat all of them. But as the zombies are approaching her, she realizes that she has beef jerky in her pocket. So she takes them and she throws them at the zombie. They're starting to move away in the direction of beef jerky. But one zombie stays. And she tries to throw her bracelet at it. But it doesn't follow the bracelet. Luckily, she remembers, oh, I can beat one zombie. So then she fends off that one zombie and makes her way to the first aid room. Home run! Now she has the supplies that she needed. Now we should answer some questions about this text. First, what does the equation mean in the story? Pause when the questions appear and think a bit. Okay, are you paused? Cool. So yes, you are correct if you said, every minute two zombies are born. Next question, is Susie strong? What makes you think so? Keep in mind with this you question, it's you answering, so there's no exact answer. But Susie does seem pretty strong. If you look at the text, it says that she has a black belt and her dad's a CIA agent, so he must have taught her some things. So why do you think so? Maybe it's because she fended off the zombies. Could be other reasons. Susie's a smart sounding name, I guess. Next, do you think Susie's smart? Give you a second. Yeah, I mean, she fended off the zombies and made it all the way to the end. So she got her goal. But I think there could be room for another argument. One person could say, Oh, no, Susie's not smart. If she just threw the bracelet, if she just threw the beef jerky in the first place, then they would have left. She could be not smart for letting it get that far. So it just depends on how you argue it. Last question. Why do you think the zombies ran towards the beef jerky, but not for the bracelet? So this is also up for a bit of interpretation. But 
we know that in our zombie apocalypse movies, zombies like brains. So that could potentially be why they ran towards the beef jerky, because it's still some type of meat. And obviously the bracelet is not going to be tasty. Another reason is that maybe the bracelet did not smell like anything. So why would zombie chase after it? Now, don't worry if your answers are slightly different, because English is about interpretation. Except with evidence, of course. You always need to be able to support and defend your answer. Thank you for learning with us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please comment if you have any questions, like, and subscribe to our channel. We will be back with more videos.